Hi, and welcome to Bennington Works. I am Dobbin, and I'm a sixth term junior. I study art history and literature at Bennington, and I'm going to tell you about my plan process. The first class I took in my discipline, art history, was towards reverse art history taught by my advisor, Vanessa Lyon. This is an intro class and a prerequisite for all advanced art history courses, and I was lucky to study it in my first term. I took AP art history in high school, so I was familiar with some of the materials, but that class was something beyond just an intro. We were encouraged to critically think about the Western-centric perspectives and the impact of colonialism in the discipline of art history, and I was just mind blown by the amazing readings that she assigned us. And since that class, I became interested in post-colonial and feminist perspectives and representations of race, especially Asian representation within the discourse of our history. Before my plan meeting, I worked intensively with my advisor to develop my plan essay. I remember Vanessa giving me a set of questions at the beginning of term to answer, such as, why this plan? Why now? Why Bennington? Or, how do you see your plan connecting to a broader community? And those questions are really hard to answer if you haven't been thinking about them. Luckily, I came up with a theme to connect all my three interests, art history, literature, and theater, and that was narratology. My intention was to study how different stories are told in different ways, and since I wanted to become a curator, my ultimate goal was to develop narratives for introducing and supporting underrepresented artists, especially Asian artists, to the art world. And my plan meeting was amazing. It was Vanessa, who is an art history faculty and my advisor, Michael Dumanis for literature, Maya Cantu, who teaches theater, especially dramaturgy, and Anna Maria Hong, a literature faculty. We had a very nice conversation for 30 minutes, and they suggested me several courses within and outside my scope, such as Trans-Pacific Feminist Geography, which was an SAT course. It's been a year and a half since my plan meeting, and my plan has changed so much. I was really influenced by the classes I took. One of them was Honor Seminar, Korean American Feminist Poetry, taught by Anna Maria. I tried writing poetry for the first time in this class through which I, I addressed um, Japanese imperialism and colonial history of Korea and retelling of myths through a feminist perspective. I didn't know I would enjoy creative writing this much and that has become part of my plan and also my senior project. The other one was Visual Cultures of the Americas and in this course we were even more challenged to think about politics race, ethnicity, class, and gender in our history. Through this class, I was able to do projects that are fundamental to my senior work, and one of them was to look at Asian representations in the United States through Asian ceramics and paintings by John Singer Sargent, Ochin Klaus Branel, and Byron Kim. Through this project, I was able to think about the history of the feminization of Asian culture, and became more interested in contemporary Asian art practices to rectify this colonialist perspectives. Which brings me to now, Museum Fellows Term. It is a five month study away program in New York, mm, not anymore, and I am currently working at the Rubin Museum of Art as a public programming intern as well as taking classes twice a week. Museum term has been my plan since my plan meeting, and I received a lot of support from my plan committee, and it has been amazing. Through museum term, I explore the vibrant New York art scene, as well as engage in conversations with professionals at work and through site visits, which allowed me to further explore my interest in curating contemporary Asian art and as well as critically think about the institutional system and its flaws. The best thing about PLAN is that you can take classes you're interested in, whether they relate to your plan or not. I've been playing viola in an advanced chamber music group since my second term, and that is definitely not my plan. But it helped me a lot in terms of 
coping with stress and express expressing my feelings and I hope I can continue after this study away term. Thank you.